It's fun, right? First hour, Mike, what do you give it? A minus. Hmm. That first call took away. Isn't that on you, though? Wouldn't you say that's on you, Mike? You let the first call through. Wasn't it? Oh, uh, wasn't that Mike's fault? Uh, hey, it's uh, Don Jr., uh, <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. Uh, Mike, wouldn't you uh, say that's your fault? You let the uh, first call through, and you're trying to make a case. Oh, Mike was talking about the, he, he watched Celebrity Apprentice. He's up to speed. Now, I'm up to speed. He's up to speed. I'm not even going to get it. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do this to Mike. But I'm watching this show. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it anymore. Something about this show. It, feel, it feels like a like a like my li- look, I wrote recaps for this thing last year for New York uh, Magazine's Vulture webpage. I will say I think the reason I have back problems now are not are are not caused by that, but it did not. It actually led me to the place I'm at right now, health wise. I don't know, pulling an all nighter, uh, once a week, for three months. Yeah, that did a number on me, man. But I'm watching this thing, and I've never seen a show that gets you to like root for people who in the actual world you thought were just wildly talentless, just based because of the people they're next to on this show. Like uh, our Arsenio Hall. I never liked this guy. This guy is one of, the, one of the worst. Now I'm watching this show, and I'm like, eh, he's not so bad. Seems like a good guy. Seems like a good guy. Yeah, only seems like a good guy because he's uh, yelling at uh, uh, this uh, Aubrey O'Day. Well, I'm telling you, she's she was uh, from the Puff Daddy uh, uh, MTV show. Now she's on this thing. She's got this hair. I know I said it last week. I, I thought she was associated with McDonald's somehow because it was. It's literally. She went into uh, wherever she got her hair done. She must have gone in with a picture of Ronald McDonald. Said, this is the color. Get me this color hair. The only person I've ever seen with that color hair is that uh, that uh, Ronald McDonald and that uh, Soviet spy woman. Do you remember her? The sexy spy from the Soviet Union. I think she had the same hair color. But she's on the show. She gets me to root for Arsenio Hall. And then now I got this uh, Lisa Lampanelli. Ugh. Look. Nothing made my skin crawl more than when she was on uh, Mark Maron's uh, podcast. And she's like, I'm just worried that I'm not going to be considered one of the all-timers. Who thinks like that? First of all, here I will I will answer that question for you. You're not. Not one of the all timers. One of the all all time what? What's she doing? She she's going up and she's uh, she's uh, ripping on her audience. All timers. Well, one of the all timers. She's like actually concerned about that on the Mark Marin's uh, WTF uh podcast. Uh, I just want to be one of the all timers. Unbelievable. The all-timers. All you got to think of it. Think of Rudy Valley. I talked about him with Spike. Could anybody have been bigger than guys like that? Rudy Valley? Nobody knows who that is now. Nobody cares. Who are other people like that that nobody cares about anymore? Like, you know what I mean, Mike? When, like, who? Charlie Weaver. Charlie Weaver. Yeah. I can't wait to see Celebrity Apprentice five years from now. 
get a uh, uh, who uh, who'd be on that thing? Maybe Mike would be on. Maybe we get Mike on it. Hey, Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, I don't think I should be fired. I bring a lot to my team. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're having a good time over there. You're, you're <laughs> Mike, you're having a good time over there watching Justin Bieber and Melissa McCarthy argue. Look at Mike having a good time over there. Like Trump always like sticks these pronouncements on people. You're having a good time. Look at, look at, having a good, is anybody having a good time on that thing? I, I don't like making fun of like people who aren't as famous as they used to be. Like that's not, that's such an easy uh, target that when people like Steve Gutenberg's a loser because he's, because he didn't maintain his level of celebrity forever. Like, trust me, you'd switch bank books with Steve Gutenberg in a second. Steve Gutenberg's a loser. What a loser. So, uh, but there's these people. I'm not making fun. I, I don't like that. Like, Steve Gutenberg, people like that, they do what they do. And But, uh... But Trump on this thing, it's like, he just... He just pr props everyone up with these, uh, like, uh, like, look, did I lose my train of thought? Oh, what was I saying, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, how we, how we, uh, you know, oh, no, no, here, I was going to say that, uh, you know, People try, they end up on that show, they do whatever they do, you know, uh, they, you know, they got to do, they're doing it for charity or whatever reason, for charity and to get seen. That's fine. But, um, I, tr I, I think if I was on that show and like, you have to like be in the park, like in the morning and like people were walking by looking at me, I, I would want to crawl into a hole. Like, lined up with other celebrities, and then Donald Trump rolls up, and then two, two, uh, two stiffs from, uh, you know, uh, from, you know, from Tetley T show up. This is Greg. This is Greg and Sharon from Tetley T, one of the most popular teas in the country. We're going to talk about their new tea. The idea we've come up with is that, uh, we're going to do a uh, a, a, a Tetley Tea uh, parade <laughs> down Fifth Avenue, and whoever can organize the best Tetley Tea parade will be the winner. Tetley did. Yeah. Yeah, this show, man. Lisa Lampanelli. It's one of those people, everyone's an idiot. This one's a moron. That one's a, a, a dope. This one's a dunce. Like everybody around her, everybody but her is dumb. That's usually a sign you're the dumb one. When everybody around you is dumb but you, you might be the dumb one. It's exciting. We got AP Mike here. He's a big star. I love what I love what you even try if Trump could fake that one. I love what you do. Who's this guy again? <laughs> Mike's sitting in that boardroom. Well, Mr. Trump, I just want to say it's a huge honor to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. I'm not going home easy. I give a hundred ten percent. And it's Lou Ferrigno on this show? This guy. Look. If I hear more about how this guy overcame whatever, whatever he overcame, it's like, I've never seen a guy talk about 
the hurdles he over... It's just like, yeah, here, you want to see the other side of the coin, Lou? You are you have no talent except lifting things, and you've managed to work for 40 years. So, yeah, maybe that is a, 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 a an accomplishment, but it's a, it's an it's an it's like a, an inverse accomplishment. It's like you've managed to hoodwink people when you should have been shown the door. You should have been shown the door on show business already, but you're hanging in there somehow. People underestimate me. Like, oh, this guy. It is going to say two two things. All he wants to do is slap that green paint on his face. Run around like the Hulk. I would love it if the Hulk, if a Marvel shut him down once and for all. Yeah, you can't uh, keep talking about yourself like you're the Hulk. Five guys have played the Hulk by now, after this guy. Like, there's been five Hulks. You know who plays the Hulk in the Avengers movie? Mark Ruffalo. Did you know that, Mike? No. Went from Eric Banya to Edward Norton to Mark Ruffalo. Well, can we get a more passive guy in the Mark Ruffalo? Who, who's next? Who's next on that on that slippery slope? Yeah, who? Yeah, exactly. Mark, it's like, who's gonna, who's gonna be the next Hulk? Uh, 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 Casey Affleck. I am gonna say about comic books though. Since I've been, uh, you know, I'm going through some um, back, some back and leg things. I'm gonna say it's more leg than back at this point. That. Uh, uh, I've been reading uh, comic books. I'm finally catching up on all these comic books I hadn't read. All these uh, these things, uh, these comic books I've had. And I've read these. Uh, you know, who, I want to just say uh, that uh, Matt Fraction and Ed Brubaker. I was reading a lot of their stuff. And it's like if you need to, if you want to read awesome stuff, it's like these two guys are so great at what they do. I was reading, and I'm talking like superhero stuff. I know a lot of people are like, I hate superheroes. Yeah, so do I. Still chasing something when I, that I that I liked when I was ten. I'll still try to catch it. But you know what? Yeah, who McLovin? Somebody wants to. Yeah, let's put McLovin in the. Uh, man, when's that dude on Celebrity Apprentice? McLovin, Christopher Mintz-Plass. I love everything you do. You're a super talent. Super bad was an amazing movie. We all loved it. Yeah, I, uh, big fan of, uh, Super bad. It's, uh... Don Jr., how did the teams do? Well, uh, Christopher Mintz-Plass was the, uh, team leader. And, uh, him and AP Mike. And... <laughs> <laughs> it was AP Mike and Peter Chris, uh... <laughs> they did the uh, Tetley Tea Parade. Well, the executives said that uh, Mike signage was uh, not good. They said. <laughs> <laughs> How do you answer that, Mike? Well, Mr. Trump. I I was drunk. Hey, Mike. Gary the Squirrel. We're all huge fans. <laughs> Gary, we're huge fans. <laughs> Gary, if you lose this task, who would you have to fire? Uh, I'd, uh, I'd bring a... Uh, I'd bring Mario Lopez and I'd be Mike back into the boardroom. <laughs> Mario Lopez, you're such a talent. You're so good. 
Well, the executives uh, loved Mario's presentation when he, uh, the speech he did about Tedley T. They really, they loved it. And uh, they were not happy with uh, Mike being shirtless and drunk. Yeah, that's what I told him. I told him he's a drunk. He's drunk, Mr. Trump. Back to uh, reality here. You ever want a good uh, uh, comic? You, you know, like a superhero. If you read, if you saw a lot of people who read superhero stuff when you're a kid, and then you're like, I tried to read it uh, later in life, and it just doesn't work. Like I feel like a, like a, a, a dope. You know what you read? Go read Matt Fraction doing Iron Man. And you read Ed Brubaker doing Captain America, and it's it's really, it is just the greatest. You can't go wrong. Don Jr. hates his father too, right? He uh, he actively hates his father. Like any chance to zing him, he'll do. It wouldn't be hard to do, right? <laughs> like. Like when somebody's like, uh, we're going to do a thing with Donald Trump falling down a flight of stairs. Well, that sounds like a funny idea. <laughs> the uh, Tudley T executives, uh, they really did not like. It's so. <laughs> Tudley T, one of the great. And Trump had this week these things he did of walking. I have to see if these are online. I have to play this thing <laughs> of him talking about walking. Can someone find me? That has to be online. His PSA about walking. Mike was getting on uh, on Ivanka, too. Come on. Nothing wrong with Ivanka. He's like, her head's weird. Yeah, yeah, real weird. Yeah, real weird head. Look, Eric Trump's the weirdo in that family. Got some weird Jake Busey stuff going on. But Donald Trump did this, uh, is this it? I hope this is it. Please let this be it. Yeah, here it is. 495 views on this this is a net this this guy's on it went up when did when did this go up a week ago if it went up five minutes ago it should have more than 495 views two let me try to bring this let's see if this works oi Safari, you don't want to play video. What, what happened to Safari? Where, uh, where it doesn't want to play video. Now it sounds like Michael Imperioli. Or whatever happened. What happened to Safari? Used to be able to watch videos all the time on it. Now you try to click on it, you get the spinning ball. It's tequila. Walking is one of the easiest ways to get on the road. wait for this thing to load. Like, he's got shouting about walking. All right, here we go. Walking is one of the easiest ways to get on the right track and start getting healthy. I wish I did it some more. Even 30 minutes a day can go a long way. So don't forget to sign up and walk with Walgreens or you're fired. No, or you're fired. What, by, fired by who? Life? I'm the Grim Reaper. <laughs> what if he was the... It's, he's like he's firing you by... Uh, like, like he, Or you're fired. If you don't walk, you're fired? Walking is one of the easiest ways to get on the right track and start getting healthy. I wish I did it some more. Even 30 minutes a day can go a long way. So don't forget to sign up and walk with Walgreens or you're fired. <laughs> 